Hey guys, myself Rakesh and today we have a very interesting topic Python string storage. So how a string is stored in Python and how they can be accessed we are going to see. So generally strings are stored in array format. What is that? Let's understand. Let's say if I say a equals to and if I type hello world. Now tell me how this is stored in the in Python. So I have a small picture which is going to give a elaborate understanding of how the hello world the moment it is typed how it is stored in Python. So generally the characters of the word that you have typed or the characters of the string that you have inserted in Python that's going to be stored in a array format. That means it will be stored like this H E L L O space is there so space W O R L D colon even the space is also considered. Now what happens the first word which is stored the position of that is 0 and then it continues 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 even the space has a position 5 even the space is has the position 5 and similar way it continues. Okay, so once you have this picture in mind, we are going to learn something that is going to that, that is going to be very very interesting. So let's say I have stored hello world in alpha in the variable a. Let's say I want to access something. So I will say print and I will say a and in the square bracket, check this how I am writing. In the square bracket, if I say position number 0, so that means it's supposed to pull the word H for me. Okay, so let's see that control S F5. What happened? Did it pull the word H? Very simple. So this is the way you can pull. So let's do one thing. It will be very, very interesting. I am going to teach so many other things. So stay tuned. And here I said A, so continuously print it. Okay, the first one is 0. Let's say I want to access the position number 1. I will go down position number 2. I will go down position number 3. I will go down position number 4. That means it is going to pull H E L L O 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Because, because why I am saying 0? Because the 0, the any word that you are storing that is going to be started from the position number 0. So that is how you can access. So I have mentioned until 4. So it is supposed to print till hello isn't it so do a control s f5 and execute so what happened what is the output you have got h e l l o you have got very nice now let's say i want to also access the space so i'll say print and then parenthesis then i will take the variable name very simple and then i'm going to say 5 so that way it is going to access the space control s f5 let's run it so it has access the space. If you see it here, there is a position here. Let's say I want, because it's not very clear, let's copy this and paste it. And here, let's say I want to access 6. 6 means what is going to be pulled? W is also going to be pulled, right? So control S, F5. Now you can see hello space W. Likewise, you can continue to see which variable you need. Let's say you need only very specific variable. You can also mention that let's say I need only uh, the fifth position or the sixth position let's say so I'll say print parenthesis I will say a then square brackets and within that I will give the position number six and try to run it so what happened only the W has been extracted getting it only the W has been extracted now this is understood now you, you, I said the strings are stored in an array format. If it is stored in an array format, can I, for example, let's say, can I access this using a for loop? Yes, you can access it. For example, let me write the code for this. So you will simply say for in lowercase and then I will say x as in variable in which one? What is the word? Let me say hello world getting it I am saying hello world so what would happen each word is going to be stored in X and I can print X so put a colon this colon is very important as I said colon represents block of code right so the moment you hit on enter what happens 
a indent is given a space is given by default and then after that I will use print and here in the print I am going to simply say X getting it so what would happen it will going to loop through the entire word that means entire array that means if you imagine this particular graph or this particular picture it is going to loop through because it is an array it is going to loop through everything H E L L O and it's going to print one by one through this expression that we have written okay it's going to print so let's see that how what is happening control s and f5 let's run it so what what the python has done as per the python expression it started printing h e l l o w o r l d it has printed everything you can see pretty well pretty nicely okay now so this is quite interesting right how you, how you can loop through the entire thing now let's say you will say rakesh how about this if i'm saying a is equal to see there are so many things you are learning in a single video hello world what is what i did i said hello world and now instead of writing hello world over here i will delete this and what if i say a here will it work tell me will it work yes of course it is going to work let's run that so what happened it has worked properly right hello world has been typed now I miss the colon mark so let's run it again so you can see it has printed everything that is there in the string getting it so this is an interesting concept and once you know that the strings are stored in array you also understood how you can fetch them as needed thank you for watching this we are going to meet again in the next video take care bye bye